says the Chovot Levovot that in order to strengthen our Bitachon, we have to realize another fundamental. That sometimes a person receives Parnassah from a cause that's not really a cause and, a pl- and from a place that's not really a place. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people make a Parnassah in a very unusual ways. Sometimes people, uh, they make Parnassah by doing tasks that people never thought you would make money by doing those tasks. But in Chavod Levavod, it tells us that we have to realize that Hashem created each of us in a certain form. Hashem chose that we should make a Parnassah in a certain way. Just like Hashem chose our parents for us, right? It's just like, um, so too Hashem chose this Parnassah. I wouldn't be able to be the person I'm supposed to be without this Parnassah. It's specifically made, tailor-made for me. The Zohar writes in Sefer Bereshit, Ze Sefer Toldot Adam. The Torah says in the Parashat Bereshit, this is the book of the history of man. So what is this book? So the Zohar says there's a book that Hashem showed to Adam Rishon. And Hashem showed him all the future people. He had a book of all the people that are supposed to come to the world. And he showed it to Adam Rishon. And Adam Rishon literally saw an album of people, every individual face from the beginning of time until the end. Is that after he sinned or before? It's after. But if we ask an artist to paint the portrait of a person, you'd have to get all the right colors to design the portrait. Hashem's design is even more intricate. He had a picture, what he wanted you to look like, and this is what he showed to Adam. Your sideburns, the color and shape of your beard, your hairline, your ear size, your organs, your cells, all these were chosen. Where did Hashem get this idea? Where did Hashem get this portrait? With all the DNA and all the cells available, He pinpointed your parents to create you and made you the way you are, already from, destined, planned, from the beginning of time. And you are not just a random bunch of uh, cells and uh, DNA bumping into each other. Every detail was made, tailor-made for you to fulfill your purpose. As the Ale Shua writes, or Volbe, he got a letter from a boy who was depressed in yeshiva. And he says, I'm not like my friends, I'm not on the same level as them. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even, uh, I'm not up to a standard. I feel left out. And the Rav told him that the people feel depressed because they constantly compare each other, to, their selves to each other. The killer of all happiness is comparison. So therefore, a person has to realize that other people have different qualities and you have qualities they don't have. And you have talents that they don't have. And he says you have to realize the foundation of all growth is you have to realize every person has specific tools. The Rav Salanter, Allah Vashon, used to say, and that before you break yourself by giving yourself musar, before you tear down the wall, you got to know which tools you have to build. What's the point of breaking down if you can't rebuild? So first you got to know your positives, the goods you have, the tools you have to build, and then you can give yourself musar, and then you can start tearing yourself down to build yourself up better. So therefore, every person has to realize, we bless Hashem, shasali kol tzarki, that He made for me all my needs, including my talents and my qualities. That applies to physical, spiritual. We know that we say, Every person has a certain helik. Every person has a certain portion in the Torah. Every person has to tell himself, you can't just say, oh, okay, there's a lot of religious people learning. There's a lot of religious people praying. Oh, the doesn't need my prayers. The doesn't need my, my learning. It's, uh, uh, what am I going to add? What's so special about me? Little old me. No, person has to realize that there's a portion only you can unlock. There's a portion only Hashem had destined for you to accomplish. And therefore, a person has to give it his all and say that I'm going to go and get my portion. of all adds, some people are slower than others. Some people don't understand as quickly. But they have the plus that they once they understand, they don't lose it. They retain for a very long time. So therefore, they shouldn't judge themselves negatively just because the other guy understood faster. Maybe the guy who understood faster will also forget faster. So therefore, a person has to look at himself, always focus on the good as well. You can't just only be focusing on the negative. So therefore... He ended off with a story, a famous story of uh, Rav Naftali, Amsterdam, who was one of the Rabbi Sal Salanter's great, greatest students. And he said to the Rebbe, he said to his Rebbe, Rebbe, if only I had the brain of the Shagat Aryeh, who had a great sharp mind. If only I had the heart of the Yisod Shorsh Vavoda, who was a great person with great emotions and heart. And if only I had Midus like you, I had Midus like Rabbi Sal Salanter, then I could serve Hashem. So Rabbi Sal Salanter told him, no, you're wrong. 
with your brain and your heart, your midot, you can be a true servant of Hashem. That's not the point, that you miss the whole point. If you think there's a cookie cutter mold, only one way and only one fit and only one method and only one uh, understanding to serve Hashem, it's wrong. You have to realize Hashem made different tribes of Am Yisrael. Hashem made different flavors of Jewish people. And Chadash Baruch Hu made each person differently for a reason. If we were all supposed to be the same, we would all look the same. We would all be coming from the same place. We would all be in the same institution. But we're not. Hashem knows there's many different angles to reach the truth. Obviously, they all have to be in confines of the Torah. We can't be going against the Torah. But the person has to say, it's personalized, individualized mission that I have. I have to fulfill it. So therefore, Next time you see others being successful, don't say, don't, 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 don't put yourself down. Say, hey, let them be successful. I'm, 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 I'm left out. No, Hashem and the whole world is waiting for you. That's why the Gemara says, not a majority of Jewish people keep Shabbat. Their Geula comes. Not of Bnei Brak or uh, Muncie or Lakewood or whatever or uh, you know Queens. Every, the whole world has to keep their Shabbat. Every single Jew, Hashem's waiting.